That same night, a woman was injured when her car was smashed into by a stolen car being chased by Mobile police. Tonight, News 5's Chad Petrie sits down with the accident victim. Following the shooting at the Grand Hall that injured up to seven teenagers, Brooke Bechtel had her own unexpected encounter with law enforcement. She was driving home when Mobile police say a stolen car driven by a 16-year-old made a sudden turn as patrol cars approached, and that's when a short chase started. He was headed straight head-on, and um, I just swerved off and, and off the road, and... He managed to hit in a direction that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Bechtel says airbags filled her car following the collision and the fluttering sounded like the vehicle was on fire. I tried to exit the vehicle and I couldn't and so I thought that the car was going to catch on fire. While she's still dealing with some pain, Bechtel says she's down one car and can't go back to work right now. But she says she'd do it again if it helps police. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time, or if you turn around, maybe the right place at the right time so they could catch the guy. I don't know. But um, I am grateful to be here, I'm grateful to be alive. Bechtel said she bought the car on Good Friday, only to have it wrecked two days later. Chad Petrie, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on. The 16-year-old suspect was taken to the Strickland Youth Center.